Hi, welcome back. In the previous three sections, we saw how to run our Spark workloads on the Google's Dataproc service. We saw how to create the clusters, how to externalize the storage, and save on cluster costs by deleting them when not in use. In this section, we'll continue our journey into optimization of our costs by eking out the last ounce of performance for from our clusters. This section will have less hands-on exercises as we're not doing big data demos as we don't have that scale available with the free tier. However, the optimizations that we discuss in this section apply to all of the jobs out there without any exceptions. So before we go and dive into the optimizations, let's first see what we'll cover in this section. We'll start with how using a cluster for single purpose is much more suitable than using it in a shared condition. Next, we'll see how to size our executors in conjunction with the machine types to ensure we are utilizing the resources properly. We'll also see how using printable VMs can save us a ton of money. Then we will see how using local SSDs can cause miraculous performance boost to shuffle heavy jobs. And finally, we'll close the section by looking at auto-scaling policies for workloads where the resource needs vary during each stage. I hope this sneak peek has whetted your appetite well as we nosedive into this section. So, I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye-bye.